Today's project is an Arduino project using a 4-pin RGB LED. By the way, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and also feel free to subscribe to the channel as we will be uploading and showing more and more videos on Arduino projects. So let's get started. For this project, you will need one 4-pin RGB LED, three 220 ohm resistors, and four wires, red, green, blue, and a black wire. The long pin that you see is where the black wire is connected to. Put each pin in one of the holes of the board. The second pin from the left is where the black wire is connected to. Now connect a resistor to the pins of the LED across that lower part of the board. Now connect resistors from the rest of the pins except the black one. Now connect a red wire from the first resistor. Now connect a green wire to the second resistor. Now connect a blue wire to the third resistor. Now connect the wires to your Arduino. Pin 3, 5, 6, and ground. 3 is blue, 5 is green, 6 is red, ground is black. Now, let's write some code. The first thing we're going to need to do is to define some variables. So let's take a look how to do this. So the first thing we're actually going to do is define some pins. Let's define what the pins actually do. So I'm going to use a comment and put define some pins. So the first pin we're going to define is we're going to define the word blue as pin 3, or we're going to define the word blue as 3. We're going to define green as the number, as pin 5, or as number 5, and we're going to define red as a 6. So now we are going to use the command pin mode which sets the pins at the beginning setup. So we use pin mode and we're going to say that pin mode red which is 6, is going to be an output. Okay. And now pin mode green, which is pin 5, is going to be an output. And remember to put semicolons at the end of each line. And we're going to say pin mode red I mean, blue is going to be an output and put the semicolon at the end. So we're going to write to the pin. We're going to write to red to start everything as high. So red will start glowing bright first. And then we're going to write to green, which is pin 5, low, which is nothing, like a 0. And we're going to write to blue, which is pin 6, as low, which is low, or nothing, or 0. So now we are going to define some variables. And we're going to put define another comment some variables. So we're going to say that an integer 
will be called red value. Remember to put this semicolon. Another integer called green value, semicolon. And we're going to define another integer called blue value. And we're going to put a semicolon. Now we are going to begin the loop. Let's write some code for the loop. So we're going to define or make a variable called, or we're going to define delay time as 10 and this is the amount of time that fades between the colors. So now we are going to say that red value that variable is equal to 255, which is the highest number. And the values go from 1 to 255. That's all the way dim, which is nothing, to 255. And now we're saying the green value is equal to nothing, or 0. And remember to put the semicolon. I forgot to put the semicolon on 255. And the blue value is equal to 0. So the red will turn on first. It will glow bright. Now I'm going to add a comment and we're going to make a for loop. And we're going to say for, and this is the standard format, for that integer i starts at 0, and it's less than 255, count it by 1. That's what that means. And now we put brackets around the activity we are going to do. So now we start our first bracket. And this is what we are going to do inside the first loop. So now we're saying red value is going to count is going to go down one is going to count down one and now green value is going to count up one And we're going to write to the pin, the red pin, we're going to put that value, which remember red is at 255, so now it's going to go down. Now we're going to write to the green pin, and we're going to put the green value. So that's going to rise as that loop goes round and round. And we're going to put a bit of a delay time and we're using the delay time that we set up, which is 10. So now we go out of that for loop. And now we're going to say the red value is 0, so that's off. And the green value is now bright. And the blue value is now 0 or off.
So now we do another for loop and we say that i starts at zero as an integer and i has to, it'll loop around to as long as i is less than 255 and i will increment by one. And now we put brackets again. And I put a comment that says this feeds out the green. So now we have the braces or the brackets. So the green value is going to decrease by one and the blue value is going to increase by one. And as you can see, the red value stays off at zero. So now we write to the, the pin green, we're going to put the green value there. And now we're going to write to the blue pin and we put the blue value there. And we put a delay as delay time, which is 10. And remember your semicolons. And now the bracket is now closed, as you can see, for, and it even lights up for that for loop. So now we're going to work with the color blue. So we're saying the red value is off or zero. The green value is off. And the blue value is now high or on. So now we do the same loop that we did last time. For, and we start with i, that it starts at zero, and i will keep going around till it's 255, and we're going to increment it by one. So now we put our brackets and that's the activity that's going to be inside the brackets. So we say that the blue value is going to decrease by one. The red value will increase by one. And we are going to write to the pin. We're writing to the blue pin. We're going to put the blue value in there. And now we're going to write to the red pin and put the red value in there. And we are going to put a delay. So that is the end of that loop. So now let's upload the program to the Arduino. The Arduino now receives the program. And now let's see what it does. The red starts, the green, and then it will go blue. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe to the channel. And always remember, have fun with your Arduino. It is a lot of fun. And the most important thing, keep on learning.